Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, and in conjunction with uh, David and DMBFX.com, we are here to share our forest tech analysis uh, trading plan. Uh, this is for the weekend of Sunday, July 3rd. Uh, keep in mind that we do have a holiday coming up for the states. Before we begin our video, we want to start off with our disclosures. Any symbols that you see today should not be inferred as a trading recommendation. No matter what form of investing you choose, stocks, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can lose all of your money. Any strategies that we share today are for informational purposes only. Future results are not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility. Trade at your own risk. So as we said, this is our weekend Forex technical analysis wrap up. We're going to look at the uh, price action of the last week and try to come up with some key support and resistance price levels. Uh, we'll look at the gold chart as an indication with some of the dollar currency pairs. We'll try to create a low volatility watch list and an inside bar watch list and we'll have an agent case and spotlight at the end. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to comments at dmbfx.com. Let's pull up the charts. Okay, we're going to start off with the gold daily chart, and we can kind of see that we, over the past week or so, we've been in a downtrend. First, notice that the month-long consolidation, then the sellers really took control, and we can see the month-long consolidation, what happened? The bear's uh, volume, selling volume, overtook the bullishness, and that's why we consolidated, and then eventually, once we got a, a, a good volume, uh, we pushed down. Now the second thing to notice is two, is two things. What was once resistance now became support. Buyers are finding value at 1475. They bought, found value, pushed back up. Once again, found value, pushed back up. And on Friday's price action, the same thing is happening. Now keep in mind, if we zoom out, we can see long term we're in an uptrend. We haven't seen the twin moving average in a long time. Uh, but we pulled back to an identified place of value for buyers. And we can see that on our hourly, uh, as we can see that eventually the buyers did find value. We got a crossover in oversold on our RSI, and we come back, and now we're a little late. So we have two options. We can, on the daily and on the hourly, see if how far this up move is going to go um, before uh, we retest the 1475 or if we're going to rally all the way up to the 50 million average. So overall, we're in a big consolidation range of 1475 to 1547. Uh, and we're just going to let the market tell us which way it wants to go. For our first currency pair, so notice that our gold is sideways. Sideways. So in our inverse relationship with the dollar, and we take a look at the pound dollar here, we see a couple of things. First of all, in our downtrend channel, short term downtrend channel, we have found support. We have rallied. Now, this is not exactly blazing higher. It is still a little bit consolidated move. And we can see that on our hourly that um, it's, it's just really been a big congestion. But in our over uh, long term downtrend, and now we found support at 1.59, rounded up to 1.6. We've broken above the 200 moving average, and so now the 20 moving average is a logical target. But we are in a um, a, a, a sell side of our, our placement. So first of all, we're very close to our long-term moving average, which kind of explains our sideways choppy action, nothing much going on. Second of all, we're in a sell side of our Bollinger Bands here. And who's in control right now? Well, look at this. Really, nobody is in control. Both the dollar uh, came back to our moving average and is failing, and the pound is pulling back to the moving average. So no one's really in control. And we can see that as our our seller and buyer volume is basically running parallel to itself and fading. Notice that the lack of volume we've had in the past two days. So this is one, uh, if I was really looking at it and seeing that there's so many sideways indicators, I would say let's set our hands right now and let us uh, a sell. Since we're on the sell side, let's get a push up away from our long-term moving average. Let's get some momentum on our, our indicators and let's look for a sell. But right now, I would say sit on hands. For the euro dollar, 
and we can see something a little bit different. First, on the daily, we can see our downtrend line that we're watching. Second, we can see the channel, the auction area, the price level that we're watching. So will the sellers come in and find value here to push the price down? Well, they've taken over control over the vol uh, volume, and we're starting to get a little separation here. A little separation. Now, they're both heading down, but look at it. And you can see we're getting a little separation. So the sellers are trying to take control. As we come over to the alley, we are away from a long-term moving average. We are in a sell zone. Uh, we look at it, we can see who's in control. The euro is in control. Um, and it, you can see we're trying to split up, but there's still not... Uh, a tremendous amount of resistance there on the, uh, the the euro, but we can see that the euro came back to the moving average, is bouncing. So did the dollar, and the dollar is heading out, and that's why we're not seeing a tremendous split. And that's why we're seeing a little bit of a sideways action. We've got our buy, so what we need to do is allow this to get back up. Notice that we came here and we're rallying back up. So let's get back up towards the top of this area. Uh, on the hourly, which may come at our downtrend line and our resistance line to look for that short. Finally, we look at the dollar franc. Here we can look at the long-term support. Obviously, we're on the daily, we're in a downtrend. Here's our long-term support. But we did break one key thing, and that is the 20 moving average. But overall, the 50 moving average has been acting as resistance on our move down. Um, so we broke the 20 moving average. That's certainly good uh, for the bulls. Um, and maybe we'll see a change of control. On our push down, we saw the sellers take control. And then as the volume separated, we really got our push down. Now the, uh, the buyers are coming back up. And we're starting to see this starting to close. Now, obviously the dollar is in control. But you can see they're starting to converge. They're starting to come together. We are... Uh, away from our long-term moving average, we're obviously in a sell zone, at the top of our zone. So there is a reason to look for a short. However, uh, we may need the hourly to get uh, to move up uh, a little bit, possibly to touch. Look at this. Our last swing high is here. Here's our last swing high at 850. Maybe by the time we get there, the 50 moving average will be there, and that's where we'll find our short. Okay, as we look for our low volatility watches at the current time, we don't have anything that's coming up, but that's going to be expected as we start our new week. We are going to watch the pound dollar uh, for our inside bar watch list, and simply we're going to plot the high and low of Friday's um, bar and watch for a break. But remember, as we said, the uh, pound dollar is sort of sideways, so we're not sure how much strength is going to be behind that. Now, for our education spotlight, we have one simple question for you. Do you have full control over your emotions? When you think about what uh, separates our winning profitable traders and our uh, losing uh, traders, it's, it's that discipline. It's that focus on their system and knowing that their system is going to work in the long run. And because they're disciplined and because they have a proven system that allows them to take their emotions out of the trading and allow the system to work for them. Too many times traders uh, become too emotional about the decisions and they're either and they allow their fears to take over. Fear of missing out on a trade, so they jump in too soon, they don't let it confirm. Um, fear of the result, and so they get out too soon instead of um, letting it run. Uh, fear of a loss, and so they stop themselves out instead of uh, letting the system work, and it turns around. How many times have it turned around and gone right in the direction you thought? And there are those people who get in the tick-by-tick -tick battle when they know that they should get out, but they allow two ticks in their favor uh, sway them when there were ten ticks against them. So uh, being disciplined, being focused, having control of your emotions is one of the key things that separates winning traders and losing traders. As always, guys, we want to thank you for watching our video. Um, and he, we here at DMBFX, it's all about focus on uh, uh, educated trading, no hype, no BS. We want to make sure that we are just focusing on good, proven trades. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.